Hello and welcome to Source Mogul. This video is designed to help you get the most from the software. There are two main ways to use Source Mogul to find products to sell. Many Amazon traders like to specialize in a certain category, so let's look at that one first. Maybe you want to trade in toys and games. This search type looks across all of the results we've analyzed. Source Mogul then grabs the latest Amazon pricing to see which one meets your profitability and speed of sales requirements. So simply select the ones that you're interested in and press the start search button. You'll find filters on profit, ROI and sales rank once the search has completed. For now though, let's get back to the search page and have a look at how to search an individual retailer. Remember, Source Mogul deep dives the entire supplier website for you rather than sections of it. You can add sales rank and profitability filters after the search has run. This way you don't have to rerun the entire search from scratch if you change your mind later or if you don't find too many interesting products from the settings that you might have originally specified. So now let's look at how to run a supplier search. This icon means that we previously collected pricing information for that retailer. Source Mogul then collects the latest Amazon pricing when you start the scan. In short, you get a much quicker runtime with Lightning Search, which is why we've rolled it out across all of our searches. So let's pick a supplier. Now, if you have a voucher for say 10% off, put it in this box here. We'd normally leave the shipping fee box empty. You usually get free delivery when you order a certain amount of products. Now, just hit the start search. Doing this will take you to the status screen. In a couple of seconds you'll see it update to show you the latest search is now queued. In this screen you'll also see all the current searches and their status. The data crunching all happens remotely on our cloud servers, so once you've set up your searches it will carry on working even after you've logged out. You can also see how many products are being searched in total, as well as a snapshot of what's happening in real time with the gauges on the right hand side. So how long does it take to run a search? That really depends on how big the site is. Even on Lightning Search, a large retailer may take over 24 hours. It analyzes hundreds and thousands of products. However, smaller sites might take anything from between 20 minutes to an hour or two. So let's have a look at the search we ran earlier. Press this button and that takes us into the results screen. All of the results are listed in this area. Each item has its own product pane. Product images are laid out side by side so you can make sure that they're matching well. Note that you can get to the supplier page or the Amazon page by clicking on the product images individually. In the results you can also see the keeper graph which shows you the green sales rank and the pricing history in blue. We've also included some useful stats in the more information panel. You'll find out how many competitors are listing the item and a breakdown of the profits. Now you want to narrow down the results to find what you want to trade. Use the sliders to adjust the results so that you only see the profitability and sales rank that you're looking for. Then use the drop down to arrange the results however you want. One slider to draw your attention to is the sales rank percentage. In this example I've set it to the top 15% but how you want to configure this is up to you. Some people may only trade in the very fastest selling products whereas others prefer to go for lower sales rank as there's often a little bit less competition. If you're not familiar with sales rank it's Amazon's way of describing how quickly a product sells. A sales rank of 500 means it's the 500th fastest selling product in its category. If you're not totally familiar with it there are lots of online resources for understanding sales rank in more depth. So now that you've set the parameters you're interested in, let's have a look at how best to use this results screen. We recommend using this as the first step in selecting products to trade. It's like a first pass through all the results. And then when you see anything that you might be interested in, you just pop it into your wish list. The wish list area contains two really useful tools, the brand restrictions checker and the retail stock checker. After all, if it's not in stock or Amazon won't let you sell it, then it's of little interest. At the top here you'll see the two buttons for each of these. When you press the stock checker it'll scan your wish list and find out if the retailer is carrying these items in stock. Then you can use the brand restrictions button to see if Amazon will let you trade with that item. It takes about 20 minutes to get the results back and here's an example of a product that is brand restricted. Once you've narrowed down your search with your stock checker and the brand restrictions button you can then narrow down your search further by adding each item that you want to buy into your buy list. This is pretty much an uncluttered view of all the products that you plan to add to your inventory. You can also set universal filter settings for various items like fulfillment center fees in the settings page. These are intended for costs that don't frequently change. Note that they'll only operate for scans run after they've been set and won't retrospectively adjust scans that have been run in the past. Thanks for your time and don't forget if you have any questions just use the purple dialog box at the bottom right. Happy searching. 
Lastly, please feel free to join our Facebook group, Source Mogul slash Amazon FBA product sourcing software. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel with the links on the left hand side.